good evening we are on Monday the 27th of June 2022 I'm going to be sharing with you this evening daily meditations to Saint Augustine and one or two other prayers um, and then I'm going to do the Bible in one year day I think it will be not sure what day, probably day 92, maybe. Be the first time using the Bible and no typing. So I have to prepare myself to cope with that, <laughs> to go in different parts of the Bible to find the readings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you, who are so good, and with your help, I will not sin again. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Remember, O most loving Virgin Mary, that it is a thing unheard of, that anyone ever had recourse to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, and was left forsaken. Fill therefore with confidence in your goodness, I fly to you, O Mother Virgin of Virgins, to come to you before you I stand, a sorrowful sinner. Despise not my poor words, O Mother of the Word of God, <coughs> excuse me, but graciously hear and grant my prayer. Amen. I'll just, because uh, this throat of mine, possibly I haven't drunk enough today, <coughs> could be one of the reasons, I haven't had time. I went to church and did the coffee morning and washed up and rushed about. Had time to think or drink or anything enough. So for the 29th, the heading for St. Augustine is I will lay down my life for you. Blessed Peter, the first of the apostles, both lover and repudiator of the Lord Jesus Christ, followed the Lord as he was about to suffer. But at that time, he was not able to follow him to the extent of suffering himself. He followed with his feet. He was not yet capable of following with his virtue. He promised he would die for him but he was not even able to die with him. He had promised more than he could fulfill because it was in fact unfitting that he should do what he had promised. I will lay down my life for you. The prayer. Lord, grant us the strength so to love you that we are capable of also dying for you. Amen. Come praise the Lord, the Almighty, the King of all nations. Tell forth his fame, O ye peoples, with loud acclamations. His love is sure. Faithful his word shall endure. Steadfast 
through all generations. Praise to the Father most gracious, the Lord of creation. Praise to his Son, the Redeemer, who wrought our salvation. O heavenly dove. I've just realized you might not be able to hear very well. My apologies, I had the microphone at the right of me instead of in front of me. Sorry. Praise to thee, fruit of their love, giver of all consolations. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. The Lord has given security to the upright man. Psalm 10 and 11 Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. That's Matthew 5 verse 6 In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can you say to my soul, Fly like a bird to its mountain, See the wicked bracing their bow. They're fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed. What can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world. His gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Who shall be worthy to stand before the Lord? Psalm fourteen fifteen. You have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God. Hebrews twelve twenty two. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? He who walks without fault. He who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart. He who does not slander with his tongue. He who does no wrong to his brother. Who casts no slur on his neighbour. Who holds the godless in disdain. But honours those who fear the Lord. He who keeps his pledge come what may who takes no interest on a loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent. Such a man will stand firm forever. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. God chose us in his Son and made us his adopted sons. God the Saviour, Canticle Ephesians 1, 3 to 10. Blessed be the Lord, the God, the God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy 
and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will to the praise of his glorious grace which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace which he lavished, lavished upon us he has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will according to his purpose which he set forth in Christ his purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him things in heaven and things on earth glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen god chose us in his son and made us his adopted sons a reading from Colossians 1, 9b to 11. We ask God <coughs> to fill you with the knowledge of his will, with all the wisdom and understanding that his spirit gives. Then you will be able to live as the Lord wants and always do what pleases him. Your lives will be fruitful in all kinds of good works and you will grow in your knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength which comes from his glorious might so that you may be able to endure everything with patience. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Magnificat Antiphon My soul magnifies the Lord since God has had regard for my humble state. <coughs> my soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. My soul magnifies the Lord since God has had regard for my humble state. The intercessions. God our Father has bound himself to us in an everlasting covenant. In fact, thankfulness and faith we pray to him. Lord, bless your people. In Christ you have given a new covenant to men. May they know the greatness which they have inherited. Lord, bless your people. 
gather into one all who bear the name of Christian, that the world may believe in the Christ you have sent. Lord, bless your people. Pour out your love on our friends and on all whom we know. May they carry them with them the gentleness of Christ. Lord, bless your people. Comfort the dying. May they know your saving love. Lord, bless your people. Show your mercy to the dead. May they find their rest in Christ. Lord, bless your people. And together we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. The concluding prayer. Let our worship give you glory, Lord, who for our salvation looked upon the lowliness of Mary, your handmaid. Raise up for us a share with her fullness of redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you one world without end. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you and also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting night, light on life. Amen. The Lord grant us a quiet night and the perfect end. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you so much for listening. I'm going to try and record the Bible from the Bible for the very first time to do the whole of it. So I'll have to find the Bible. But I'll upload this first. God bless. Thank you for listening.